If you're taking paper two biology exam, listen to those 10 facts. They'll help you to find the answers much faster and improve your score. Let's start talking about enzymes. Enzymes are protein, they speed up reactions. However, factors like temperature and pH slow down enzyme reactions, including photosynthesis and respiration. Pepsin's activity is highest when the pH is low. That's because this enzyme works in the stomach. The villi in the small intestine contain capillaries and lacteals. Capillaries absorb all soluble nutrients, including glucose, amino acids. The lacteals are the ones that absorb fatty acids and glycerol. Moving to plant nutrition and transport. There are three limiting factors of photosynthesis, temperature, light intensity, and carbon dioxide concentration. When a limiting factor of photosynthesis, such as light intensity, increases, it will increase the rate of photosynthesis and you find that the curve is increasing. However, at high light intensities, the rate of photosynthesis becomes constant. That's because other factors such as CO2 or temperature become limiting. Xylem transports water and minerals in one direction, from the roots to the leaves. Phloem transports sucrose and amino acids in both directions. Translocation is from the source to the sink. The source is the leaf as long as leaves are present. Time when the leaves are missing, such as in winter, Storage organs such as potatoes become the source. Let's now talk about the heart. The left ventricle has the thickest wall and the highest pressure. The right ventricle comes second, and atria have the lowest pressure and thickness. When the ventricles contract, the atrial ventricular valves such as the bicuspid and tricuspid close. Meanwhile, the semilunar valves open. You gain active immunity in two ways, either from an infection or through vaccines. Active immunity activates memory cells, that's why it's long-lasting. Passive immunity, on the other hand, is when you receive antibodies from someone else, like your mom. It's quick, but it's not long-lasting. Lastly, we'll talk about respiration and gas exchange. Aerobic respiration releases the most energy. It produces six molecules of CO2 and six molecules of water per glucose. Anaerobic respiration in the muscles only produces lactic acid while anaerobic respiration in yeast produces two molecules of carbon dioxide and two molecules of ethanol. When breathing out, the internal intercostal muscles contract while the external relax. Also, the diaphragm relaxes when we exhale. Opposite applies when we breathe in. That's it for today. I'll soon post the third video. Make sure that you've watched the first one.